So everything I've said about these female masks, we have another one here, and this is the only anomaly that we're going to have, okay? This uh, Bundu mask, it's also, you'll find it called a Sowe, S-O-W-E-I mask. These are the really only examples across the continent where women own and perform the masks. Extremely, extremely, extremely powerful. Men are still carving the masks. They're created in secret, and men can see them, but they can never use them because these personify spirits of powerful female associations called the Sande Society. Okay? Sande Society is made up of women, and it is about <laughs> healing and power and medicine. It's there for promoting social order and continuity. And they control very powerful medicines that can impact life. So as young women progress in age, they are inducted into the Sunday Society. And you can see in this image uh, at the out outset, they're covered with a white chalk. And white is a visual indicator of giving them otherworldly status and also an indication that the spirit of Sande is overseeing this and protecting them. Uh, they go through excision, okay, um, medical procedure where the clitoris is removed, and it's said to uh, be a precursor of the pain of childbearing because this is also about becoming an ideal woman and fertility, and it's also said to heighten one's receptivity. If we want to break down the mask, um, we can talk about it in terms of three parts, okay? Every one of these is going to have these three components. You have this neck with these rolls on it, okay? You can link that with plumpness, with wealth, with health, the ability to eat and take care of oneself. You can also talk about it in terms of the process of initiation of going from a girl to an adult. You can think about it like a new entity breaking out of a chrysalis, a cocoon, and it becomes something new. There's also a part in the initiation process where the girls are taken to a sacred river, and the depths of that river, which are black, is where the spirit lives, the spirit of Sande, and they're dumped under the water, and they take handfuls of sand from the, water, uh, the riverbed and scrub it all over their skin to wash the white off, and it makes their skin lustrous, and it's almost like concentric circles of coming out of the water, okay? The face. The face is always very solemn, has a high forehead, has a little, little tiny mouth always at the bottom because that says that one can keep secrets. It's an ideal woman that we're looking at here. And the only variety that you see, you're always going to have the rolls on the neck, you're always going to have this sort of diamond-shaped face with the high forehead, Features pushed down to the lower half, little, little tiny mouth always at the bottom, but the head, the coiffure, the hair is always different. And that is said to be revealed to the high-ranking officials in the Sunday society through a dream. It comes from the spirit, and they say, this is how I want to be made manifest. Because when this is put together, it becomes the manifestation of something else, of this entity, this powerful being. All right. 